Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's March 2nd of 2021. And uh, let's see, what did I want to tell you? Well, the first thing is, well, let's see. Um, <clears throat> I got this Black & Decker uh, cordless drill, and it's also a combination screwdriver. One thing, uh, okay, I've never had, actually, which is kind of surprising, I've never had one of these, I don't think. Well, maybe I did. It's, I've, I've been around quite a while. But one thing I like about this is the fact that you have the battery here on the bottom. <laughs> There's no way you're going to confuse this battery with some other, you know, battery. And the power thing that powers it up is unique. You you know exactly what that is. <clears throat> because I have, and I'm sure pro a lot of you do also have desk drawers or containers filled with power supplies that you have no idea what they go to. And the power supplies, they often... Uh, I don't have any within reach right here. You look at the power supply, <clears throat> and it doesn't tell you. It'll tell you the voltage, you know, and uh, the current. But it doesn't, you know, what is it, the hell does it go to? Now, what I have always tried to do is keep everything, you know, I plug in the, when I'm not using the thing and I put it in a drawer or put it in a box, I plug in the, you know, the, power thing right to it and but sometimes you're pulling cables or something out and something gets disconnected or somebody else uses your that device and when it comes back it you know it gets gets separated so the thing I'm gonna like about this is that uh, you know exactly you know the power supply and everything. What uh, <clears throat> what I originally got that for, I mentioned the other day, was to drill a hole in this desk for a uh, telescoping uh, monitor stand. But actually, we had a piece of wood around here that let, would let me put that below the desk here and fill in that place where there, and then I could clamp down. I didn't actually need to... <clears throat> By the way, I mentioned that I <laughs> uh, spent about three hours, I guess, trying to get that thing. And I put a piece on or a couple pieces on wrong or something. and It's just in a box now in, in parts, you know. So I gave up that idea. Um, but when I was looking around and thinking about the monitor and the whole thing, I uh, I think I want to buy, I have this monitor. Well, I've given monitors away. My grown son that lives here, I've given him two monitors, one a 4K monitor and one the super, super wide monitor. Uh, my ex-wife, you know, I've given her a monitor. She had a monitor, but it was a small one, you know, and I gave her... And I have, I think, not counting this monitor, I think there's three or four on the floor. But I'm thinking of buying another 4K monitor. And uh, and I don't want a super wide one or anything. And I don't need one for gaming. I would like to have one that has a stand like this. This monitor has one of those stands that Slides up and down, tilts back, goes left and right, turn it into portrait mode, just uh, everything. So it's a nice, it's just not 4K. Now, I'm not really interested in 4K video, but I would like to have uh, more detail, maybe, and that type of stuff. So, uh, anyway, so I got this monitor. Oh, 
<clears throat> monitor. No, I got this. And I have, <clears throat> oh, I thought I had a drill, but I didn't have a drill. But, you know, I had a power screwdriver. And uh, I can't, <laughs> I can't find the power supply for it. And I just didn't want to go through and plug in ever, you know. So I got this. And I got it for that. But also what I got it for is I've got arthritis really bad. I mean, it hurts all the time. And it's getting worse all the time. <clears throat> I take naproxen. And naproxen does pretty, uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Oh, gosh. I have to fill up my prescription things because, well, I'm just going to use one for the, for the two days that were for the 30th and the 31st, which we don't, didn't have last month. So, uh, What else? Uh, oh, okay. I saw this <laughs> after just messing with, uh, of course, I don't think this one is, I don't think it requires any assembly, but it's uh, an adjustable microphone boom arm. Now I have several, you know, cheap things laying around here. I've given several away, but this is a, uh, looks like a better one at that price it should be and uh, so I'm thinking of getting that for my wave three and uh, so I may get that not you know not immediately but it's on my list here to uh, to get and the other thing, if you remember, if you do remember, you probably won't want to pay any attention to this because, but <clears throat> I was talking about getting a Google Pixel 4a, I think it was, uh, mainly because of the, the cam, well, it's not the camera, so not the lens so much as the software that Google does. And people who have, uh, you know, $1,000 cell phones uh, and review things, they said the Pixel 4a, <clears throat> the, the camera was as good or better than the, the all the, the lenses that were on those $1,000 cell phones. But the main reason I wanted it was because of, I've always... I love low light photography and you know flashless photography, and I'm talking about since I was in grade school. And uh, the fact that it does uh, sky photography, and it's, if you've if you've seen, you know, from pictures with the Pixel 4a, it's just just amazing. You can take see the constellations and see the stars and the whole thing. It does it. It does the work for you. Uh, so that's why I wanted it. Then on the other hand, I thought, how often do I go outside? <laughs> and, uh, but, so they came out with the Google Pixel 4a with 5G. And at first I thought, I'm not interested in 5G, you know, uh, at all. Have no desire for that uh, protocol. It's not, it's available almost nowhere in the United States. It is in certain areas, you know, in New York City and around the Wall Street area or in New York or in uh, maybe Washington, D.C. in the downtown it's just not available, hardly at all. And the reason for 5G not being is because of the wavelength, the frequency that it uses. Uh, it's such a, 
ultra high frequency that the penetration is, you know, very bad. You have to have, uh, we're not talking about the cell to towers that are located and putting one on, you could put it on there, but, you know, just putting one on there is not going to cover the however big the area, three miles, five miles or whatever. The 5G will not do that. The 5G is going to get stopped by a, a building or a tree or something, and you know, and they have to put the repeaters uh, very close to you know to where you are, and it's just going to be going to take a while. Yeah, you may go to a sporting event. You know, you may go to a baseball game or something like that and be there, and you may have 5G in that auditorium that's been, you know, arranged with uh, relay facilities in there. But So I really wasn't interested in the Pixel for a 5G. And then I found out that there are other things that were added to the 5G model uh, that I would probably like to have. So I'm thinking again of getting a Pixel 4a with 5G. But, you know, I have my uh, Motorola, cheap, my $100 Motorola uh, stylus, and I like it, and it's working fine for me. And so I don't, you know, uh, the battery lasts forever, and I like the stylus. I don't really need it, but, so... Now, um, I forget where I got it, where, where the alert, if it was an email or whatever, but uh, I've mentioned her before in some videos. You probably haven't watched them because they're just, you know, I've got over a thousand videos and there's just a couple of places I mentioned the, uh, and showed some samples of her video. She's uh, Chinese and she's in China, although she's gone out of China a little bit uh, to different places. I kind of think maybe to get away from some of the repressive things that are happening. Not politically, but just uh, but I haven't been watching her videos in a while, but she reviews items, but she walks around but she couldn't have any less on. And it was really amazing to see her in China walking down the street with her different cameras that she used. And uh, she used one of the cameras more than once that does a 360 degree thing. And you could see her walking and as she was past some guy, and he'd be looking and all types of stuff. But she does fantastic reviews of highly technical stuff. Uh, the printers that print out devices or whatever, whatever you call those. She just does some fantastic things. So I got a notice that she had a, uh, a site, uh, Kofu. I'm not even sure what, you know, what you call it. And so I, I went to check it out and, uh, you can make a donation. <clears throat> and I went ahead and made a donation to her. And, uh, then, of course, you know, I got a thing saying thank you and, you know, automated, you know, thank you for uh, for that. And then I saw that she was using the, this site. And uh, so knowing me, of course, I went ahead and I signed, I made it, like I said, I made the donation and I signed up for this site. So you can, uh, you may be seeing this link. If you click on it, you'll see how to sign up and set up a site like this. Or if you click on this and you can see the link at the top, you know, up here. And you can also see the, you know, the site here. 
uh, and you can sign up and you can get this page uh, your own page for uh, you know for free or you can sign up for the gold plan which is six dollars a month if you pay monthly I signed up for it I'm <clears throat> gonna pay by the month for a little bit and see how this uh, works out so um, looks interesting I don't you know one of the things it has is let's see what's it called uh, gallery no okay I don't have any pictures in the gallery yet I haven't actually made any posts yet they have a I think you may have to be a you may have to pay the six dollars a month for gold but it looked interesting. It's nothing that I will be using. But let's say you have some ta talent or craft or something that you do. Uh, what the heck is it called? I forget what it's called. Well, let's see. If I go over to here, let's see. Settings. Okay, it's called Commission. Yeah, I guess this is a better page to give you an idea of it. It's called commission. So let's say that you are, uh, you make quilts, and it takes a while to make, you know, a quilt. You can put on here that uh, if you, you're paying six bucks a month, you know, for the, uh, you can put on there with, with pictures and stuff that you make quilts, and here's a sample, you know, quilt. Here's a quilt you're working on right now or something. And that could be your, a guy that likes to ride in his, you know, garage and you have a, you do woodworking. I knew a guy that did, he kind of drove people crazy, you know, especially around Christmas time. But he had a ton of people I mean, a lot that wanted him to make these, you know, inexpensive things in his woodworking shop. But no matter what you, you know, you, you put it on here and then you, uh, uh, give the information, the price and make arrangements where they can commission you, you know, and so let's say you're Let's make it a quilt. A long time ago, I saw a fantastic uh, documentary on uh, quilt making, and it was someplace like, you ever see the movie De Defiance? Is that what the name is? See, Defiance? <laughs> this was someplace, Arkansas or Kentucky or someplace back in the mountain areas or whatever. And uh, the women there made, you know, quilts. But then they showed the whole family. <laughs> family drinking, family fighting, family going to jail, and the women having to go, you know, the whole thing. It was really interesting. Like I said, it was a documentary. I only saw it once. I think it should be something that would be uh, out there for, you know, should be on should be Netflix and all these places. But uh, they made some beautiful quilts. And uh, I think this must have been before uh, the World Wide Web and that type of stuff. So probably now they're, if they're selling them, they're probably selling them. But this is a, would be, the, you know, this, I, I think the idea is you have a limited number of stuff, things you can make. So you show it and then somebody pays for it. I'm not sure, they pay for it. I'm not sure exactly how it works. But then you're in communications with them and you let them know the progress and then when it's available, you know, you ship it to them and you ask them how they want it shipped and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, this looks like an interesting uh, oh, here's the uh, the one I told you about. 
see that. Let me click on her thing here. Now her YouTube site's the place to go, but I, I couldn't believe it. She walks around <coughs> China and uh, also I, <laughs> she had enlarged breast. You know, she had a breast job done. And then towards the end, I've, I've, I finally stopped watching her, not because of, I just so many other things to watch, dogs and cats and possums and what have you. Finally stopped watching her uh, videos, but there before I, she had, a, she already had massive breast, and uh, she went ahead and had an, another enlargement done. But... Welcome to my channel, I'm Naomi Wu, a tech and DIY enthusiast from Shenzhen, China, and this is what I do. Anyway, she's really, uh, I watched a bunch of her, especially it was, uh, what the printers, what do you call them, that print material, physical things. Watched her checking them out, recommending them, and learning about them, and whatever. I mean, she knows what she's doing, and she has, uh, uh, it's enjoyable watching her, you know, doing the stuff that she does, the tech stuff, so. But, anyway, I found her site here. Anyway, I'm signed up for it. Post. Let's see. Okay, so this, I guess, is just for monthly subscribers. So it should tell me. Okay, yeah, it does. Okay, that's that's you know another option that uh, I can't see myself. Uh, having, um, but for her, that's, that's perfect. I mean, I mean, uh, <clears throat> she shows how to do things, how to fix things and that type of stuff. So yeah, it makes a thermal printer. <clears throat> that's the type of thing she's into. So Uh, let's see, what else is going on? In three or four days, I think in two or three days, um, uh, in uh, three or four days, Paramount Plus will start up. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping that their massive... Uh, Uh, movie supply is made available. I mean, I'm sure they're going to make available a lot of them, but I'm just hoping that the whole thing's available. Anyway, I think that's it. I'm going to stop for now, and I uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>